So I was going to do an official announcement video, but life has been crazy and that did not happen. So this is going to be in my announcement. Um, my last video that I did, my newborn cloth diaper stash, where I said very clearly that we were not expecting. Well, three days later, I got a positive pregnancy test. So I am now 15 weeks pregnant, and I thought I'd share with you some of the things that we've picked up for the new baby. We don't know gender yet. We will find out in a few weeks. So we have girl things and boy things and some gender neutral stuff. So anyway, here we have a pair of baby legs. Bought these at a garage sale for like 50 cents and they're in really good condition. And then here, um, babies due end of January. So uh, lots of warm clothes are in order. So here we have some little girl tights. And these were like $1.50 for all three or something like that. And then these... Um, little boy onesie and then here's a long sleeve onesie it's gender neutral it's just a tan color and then here we have some little boy mittens and then here I bought these at a consignment store too pretty much everything here I bought at a consignment store these are guava mitts they are bamboo and organic cotton and they have the little velcro tabs to make them tighter so I think these mitts will actually stay on and they're reversible so they have green and black and white. I'm excited about those. And then here we have some little girl booties. These were like a dollar ninety-nine. Yeah. And then here if you can tell we kind of think we're having a girl. <laughs> we're not sure but we will see. These are five dollars and we have a ton of boy stuff. Um, our oldest girl will be five when baby's born, so we really don't have a lot of girl stuff left. Anyway, here I bought this at a consignment store too. I had this for my older daughter. We actually still have it, but it's kind of stained and it's in a bigger size. This dress was one of my absolute favorites. It's so cute. It's just white with little uh, pink dots on it. Really, really cute. And then here are some little newborn pants. Everything here is newborn, by the way. Little newborn pants. And then here is a little gray skirt. Gray long sleeve onesie. I think this has mitts on it. I do my best to get the little mitts on the end of everything. And then here's a short sleeve onesie that says love. Another short sleeve onesie with giraffe, elephant, and turtle and owl. And then a little tank top onesie. And then this, I really like this. It's just a little side tie shirt. Uh, this is probably more like zero to three months. And then these, a couple little outfits. There's a side snap t-shirt, a side snap long sleeve shirt with mitts, and a pair of footy pants. And then the same thing with this one. There's the short sleeve, long sleeve, and little pants. These ones have ruffles on the butt. I don't think the other one does. No. Um, and then up here from Ikea, we picked these up. They're burp cloths, um, and some people use them as flat diapers. I'm not sure what we're going to use them for yet, but they have cute little patterns, and they were pretty inexpensive. And we bought some new books just for baby. We bought a new copy of Goodnight Moon because our old copy is completely trashed. Um, <laughs> things get that way after four kids. And then Good Night Sleep Tight Little Bunnies, Wake Up Sleepy Bear. And then these two were from Ikea. This hedgehog leaves home and it's an emergency. And then up here a few things we did buy new. Um, these, the Ikea books, and then these were at Babies R Us. They were buy one, get one half off, and they are organic. This will be the baby's first blanket. It is so, so soft, and it looks really warm, but it's kind of thin and, you know, breathable, so it's not going to be too hot for baby. Um, and it's gender neutral. It's just brown. And then this blanket... Um, my husband picked this one out. He is, has his heart set on having a girl, so he really thinks it's a girl. Um, and if we don't have a girl, we'll save this or pass it on to somebody. This has little owls on it. It's also organic. 
And then this is brand new, but I picked it up from a consignment store. I think it was $8. And we have one of these for our youngest, and it's, it's blue and brown. And these are so, so nice and soft. This is Pickles brand. I don't really know anything about it. Um, yeah, but anyways, it's really cute. And then here, I've had this for a while. Um, it's Lusa Postpartum Herbs. I've never used anything like this, so hopefully this will be something that is nice and helpful. And then here, this is for, you know, just like in the stroller. Um, it's baby elephant ears. It looks nice and comfy. And, you know, one of my toddlers because he could even use this. Then here... Again, these will just be for if the baby's a girl. Maybe a couple in here could be gender neutral. But baby will be born um, in January, so baby will be a couple months old in on Easter. And so we have this little Easter diaper. These are all owl baby. And then here just has owls. This is Minky. This one, more owls, elephants, and another Easter diaper. So I'd probably put that one on a boy. I don't know. My husband might have different thoughts about that one. <laughs> and then here we have a couple of hybrid fitted diapers um, with a snap down for the umbilical cord. And this, I know it has purple on the inside, but I would put that on a boy. And then I bought some Thirsties size one duo wraps in Snap. We have some extra small in Velcro, and these seem like they run a little bit smaller. Um, which is good because the extra smalls didn't work right away and I like snaps a lot better. So we're going to give those a try. And then here we got a pink Bum Genius extra small. It's in really good shape. It was like three fifty at a consignment store. And then we have um, Charlie Banana Diapers. We got these from Target. We have five and they were on super duper clearance. And so hopefully we'll like those too. They won't fit under the umbilical cord, I am absolutely sure. But they'll work in that interim time. So anyways, then this is, I would put this on a boy. It's kind of almost purpley tinted, but it's pretty blue. These are THX diapers. And then here's a yellow. And then this is a girly diaper. It's little yellow flowers with kind of burgundy flowers. And then here is a little bunny diaper. And then in here we have two pairs of sustainable baby-ish wool longies. These were my most expensive baby buy. These were kind of spendy. Um, they're so cute though and they'll be so warm and comfortable in January and February. So that will be awesome. And they're so, so cute. And I really want to do baby's room in yellow and gray. And so this goes perfect with that. And then our last baby buy is this rocker. Here, I'll move back a little bit. Um, it's the Tiny Love Newborn Rocker Napper. And I was looking at this on Amazon. It was on my list of things that I wanted to get. And it was a good deal on Amazon. It was about 80. Um, brand new, they run about 100 or more. And I found this at a consignment store for $40. And I'll show you what it does. Here, it has you know a little pad and a buckle in it. And then it, it has vibration here and music. And then it also has vibration down here on the other side. And then over here, there's a handle right here and you pull it. And this turns into a little rocker. And then you pull it even more. Oh wait, that is all the way here, it goes halfway. Um, and so this is like a little elevated napper. And so you have basically the bassinet elevated napper and then like a little bouncy rocker seat so this is totally awesome I'm so glad I found it the only thing um, it's in perfect shape except one of the little hanging toys is missing and that's totally not a big deal because it's just a velcro toy I can make more to put on them so that is everything that we have purchased in the first trimester hopefully in my next video I will be announcing gender so bye guys